The day my parents told me that I was moving away to another country, I remember not really having any feelings towards it. I guess I just didn't feel like it would impact me much, or I thought it wouldn't be that far and last that long. When I first came to this country, I got made fun of for who I was. Hey mom, I'm home. That's pretty much all my mom knows, is me leaving the house, going to the subway, going to school, and coming back home. She doesn't understand how it feels to be made fun of. She would just say, just ignore them and learn. I remember back in middle school when one of my friends said, Hey Jacob! Hey Jacob! Can you only see this much? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't fight back nor stood up for myself. My head went blank and I just laughed it away. I couldn't address it and I don't know how to respond to that. From then on, I started to lose my voice and who I was. Is Jean Kent Lamb here today? I was scared when teachers used to call my name. Jean Kent Lamb? Is he here today? I was really scared because I know people in the class would start laughing at me or make jokes about me. So he's not here today. Okay, absent. It made me feel really upset that I wasn't accepted and slowly, I started to not accept myself either. I got really upset and even went as far as to change my name which took two months. I realized that I can't live like this. The stereotypes that others put me in does not define me. In order to do that, I need to be the first one to make that change or it will never happen. One of the major turning points was freshman year when I joined my school's TV High film program. We were working on a story about police brutality and my teacher, Mr. Dawood, sent us out to interview people on the streets. I was scared to even make friends. So there is no way I would just go. Mr. Dawood kept saying, Remember, you're doing this not for yourself, but for the people in your community. And you know what? He was right. At that moment, I made a decision to step out of my comfort zone and do something important. I guess in a way, my friend was right. Back then, my vision was narrow and small. I let others put me into a stereotype that I was not. I didn't realize that until years later. If I could go back in time, I would open my eyes and stand up for myself. People shouldn't be afraid of who they are or hide themselves. I am graduating high school with many good friends that respect and care for me. And I am proud to say that I am no longer hiding.